encircle you, will change your story, will elevate your brand, will brought for your needs up. Welcome to Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance. Join us as we build saints to become voices, visionaries, and vessels of God's kingdom. God bless you. We want to go into a very important moment. Short, but will really impact you. Children, are you still here? Are you still here? So our time here is getting shorter and shorter in, in terms of the time we have left. But God still has something glorious for you. Say, God still has something glorious for me. I can't really hear you. God still has something glorious for me. Amen and amen. Okay. In the next 10 minutes, we want to give you an opportunity for a practical session. You know, the Lord showed us that Jesus wants to be our friends. He wants to be intimate with us. What is the way through which we gist with Jesus? You know, it's through the Bible. Is that correct? Is it through the Bible? That's how we get the opportunity to gist with Jesus. Right? So in 10 minutes, we want to have a practical. And there are gifts. There are what? I didn't hear you. And the IBK will show us right here how you can actually gist with Jesus and Jesus will speak back to you. How many of you are interested in that? No, I need to be sure that, oh, Auntie Didike, are you serious that Jesus can actually gist with me? That I can learn something from the word and I will understand how God speaks back to me. Are you ready? When we are done with that, we are going to be unveiling a special set of books for you. How many of you love storybooks? I love it. So we have storybooks for you. And one of you, Kito, she's going to be telling you a bit more about the storybooks. And then we start to round up. But this is what's going to happen. Long after we have left here, the presence of God will continue to carry you. He'll continue to regulate your character and build you up for destiny. Teenagers, you are going to love this session because even though you've got a Bible, you've got your journal, you maybe even use a devotional, this is an easy, easy to apply, never to forget strategy for really just seeing how God speaks to us and how we can develop more hunger for the scriptures. Okay? So children, let Auntie IBK feel welcome. Do you want to celebrate Auntie IBK? Praise the Lord. I've taught you before, so we'll just run through the plan and we start because of time, okay? So what's the first thing we're going to do? What's the first thing we're going to do? Shout it. What's the first thing we're going to do? Pray. The second thing? No, 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 no. Invite. You forgot that part. You invite the who? You invite Holy Spirit. And the last one, that you, you thought you spent time with the scripture, whatever you learn is God talking to, and whatever you learn, you ask a question for me. Is that clear? So bring out your Bible. I want to be total silence in this place so that we can meditate on the word of God. Everybody, wave your Bible. Wave your Bible. Open to John chapter 1 and start the process. Pray, invite, read, ask questions. So if you have a writing material, you write what God told you, the question you asked, what he said. Is that clear? And if you didn't, have a, if you didn't bring a writing material, just know what you asked God, what he told you, and all that. Are we ready? So let's start. Me, I'll do too. The word is new every day, oh Lord. From John 1, you teach me something new. John chapter 1, 1 to 18. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 18. Oh, 
Whatever you learn is God talking to you. Even if it's your mind that is learning it. The Spirit of God is directing your mind. Let me count down. 60 seconds. One more minute. I'm doing countdown. I don't want to distract you, so I won't say it out. So, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ha, <laughs> daddy coming. Ha, 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 correct. Shut up, Rosh. God has spoken. Ah, oh boy. <laughs> we have to round. Yes, we have to round. How do we do it now? Ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. <laughs> We can't actually take all of you because of time. Wait, I know, I know how I'm going to. How many of you, you learned something, you asked God a question, and he responded back? All of you, I'm even happy. I mean, it may not all come out, though, but I'm happy. You, are, you learned something. God told you something. Raise up your hand. Okay, let me take it this way. Let me take it. You learned something. God told you something. Raise up your hands, everybody. Beautiful Jesus, we give you glory. We give you glory. You ask God a question. Raise up your hands. Let me, oh, teenagers, you are not respond. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, forgive me. You ask God a question. You, you learn something. Raise up your hands, please. You ask God a question. Raise up your hands. Did you ask a question? Did you ask a question? Your ass must become like children. That's it. Your heart must become like you must ask. Do it again while I'm attending to them. Ask God the question from what you learned. Is that, is that, is that fine? Eh? Quickly do that now. Ask God the question from what you learned. Ask the question and get a response. So you ask the question, raise up your hands. Good. God told you something. For you responded to your question, raise up your hands. Correct. So all of you here, what you have done, you do it every day. Is that clear? Is that clear? You get a journal and start and every day you read your Bible. When whatever you learn, God is talking to you. How many of you will do what you have done every day? This thing you have done, you do it every day. How many of you? Are you assuring Jesus? Shout it. Are you assuring Jesus? You are assuring him. Parents here, please help them also in their personal their, Create a time for them where they spend time with God's word and oversee them. Ask them. Don't say, what did you learn? What did God tell you? What question did you ask? Help them. So do everybody now can go back to your seats. You can go back. To, okay. Give me. Give me your paper. You pay so many. I could not pick. I didn't know how to pick. <laughs> so. Teenagers, where are you? Run, run down, please. Time. Good. Okay, this way. Let's clap for them. <laughs> okay. So, quickly, just share what did you learn, what did God t t teach you, what question did you ask, what did you, what was your response? That's, that's so, first of all, the Bible, when I was reading, said that the world was made by him, but the world knew him not. So I was like, how will you make the world and the world not know you? So he now told me that God is sending us as the witness of the light to go out and be a witness just like he sent John. Another thing he told me is that we should be conversant with our Bible, which is the word, because the word is God. And another thing, we should listen to preachers that share God's word because they are the witness to receive the light, which is Jesus. What question do you ask? I just want to say, I just want to say, and I just want to say, so what, what that God is sending us as the witness of the light to go out and bear witness Clap to Jesus. Just like Hallelujah, glory. I want to take a child. So you, let me hold the mic for you. I want to see my face. Remember me in future as a horn. I'm, be, I'm honored as you are here. My name is Antai BK, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's start. What did God teach you? How old are you? I'm eight. You are eight years old. Wonderful. So what did God teach you? God told you that what? I learned that God's word is in the Bible. I learned that the word became flesh and dwelt am among us. 
I learned that light shines in darkness, and darkness did not comprehend it. What question did you ask? My question was, what does it mean for what to become flesh? And what God told me is that what it means for, for the world to become flesh is because the world is God, and God came as a human down to earth. Shatale Hosh. See. Oh, God. This thing, see. Parents, minders, this thing is real. Please, all you need to do, we have given them the tools. You just guide them. Just say, do it with your Bible. Just ask them questions. See, it is what God is doing in their generation. He's hiding things from wise and prudent and revealing it to babes. Don't despise these little ones, please. If you, you do this every day, well, you are going to be a fire, powerful guy. If you continue this, imagine what you will become. Do you understand? We promise Jesus you do this every day. I want us to promise our Jesus. Say, Jesus, I will do this every day. Shout it, Jesus, I will do this every day. I, I, need, I need you to make that promise. Jesus, I will do this every day. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Next teenager. Next teenager. One more, right? Well, I was curious because I was wondering why Jesus came to the earth. And when I was reading this journey, um, I asked God a question. Why did Jesus come to the earth? And he said that he came to this life to free us from iniquities, to clean us from our sins. And that people actually, people, when he John told people that he was coming. Nobody believed him. But God is talking to us that today that we should not doubt God. We should not doubt what he is to do for us. Because God is so powerful that he can perform any miracle in your life. As I'm like this, I'm not, in the, I'm not a believer of God. But this church day that I've come has actually changed my life. And I praise God for what he will do for me. Because I know that I'm a shining star. I will share wherever I go. And when I speak, people will listen. When I talk, people will listen. I will be, oh God, I will be among the best. They will call my name when they are calling good people. I will shine. I will climb the mountain. God has assured me today that my life is a miracle. My life is a testimony. My life is a miracle. My life is a testimony and I believe him. I thank you for what he has done for me. Just praise the Lord. In Jesus name. <laughs> Please every parent, I want you to make because these children have desire. They need to be guided. I want every parent here to make a, a commitment that I'm going to help my child. Say I'm as a parent, just I'm going to help my child. I'm going to create time for my child. I would help, just decide before you do your school homework, do your devotion, or when you wake up in the morning, just create a system. That's all, and leave the child to the Holy Spirit. Is that, let's just create a what? A system for that child. Leave the child, it's not you that will be. Leave the child to the Holy Spirit. Create a system for that child. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for listening. We are sure you have been tremendously blessed. To connect with Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance, please visit our website, www.kingdomleadersglobal.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Kingdom Leaders Global Alliance, for our video resources. And follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Kingdom Leaders Global. God bless you.